Would you like to tell them what you did while I was gone? What are we doing? We're like burying the spider. Yeah. Get a little more loosey goosey in the back end. How cute are you? Oh, wow. Hey, hey, good morning. <laughs> we froze last night, so my driveway is a little bumpy. And the sun is very bright. The sun is shining, and I'm not mad about that. I actually uh, just got back from Kansas last night really late, so thriving on minimal sleep, and that's all right. But <laughs> we are headed to the farm for chores. Um, heifers are not due for five-ish more days, and we have four babies on the ground, so they definitely went and started a little bit earlier this year, and it is what it is. Last year, we couldn't get them to start early, and I had planned that they would be, you know, a week out from calving when I had to go speak at this event um, in Kansas, but uh, they had other plans, so... Just wait till I show you who capped first, because you're gonna be like, oh my goodness. But head to the farm. Ness is in the back, 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 because I cleaned my vehicle and she's riding because she hasn't been to the farm in a couple days. So come along for all the fun. Would you like to tell them what you did while I was gone? Had the first baby like 15 minutes after I went down the road. You dingus. One, two, three, four. Are you gonna have one or are you just coming to say hello to me? Hi, you're so cute. That's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. And fourth one. How great. What's up kids? You're cute. Not just one, not just two, three, four last night. So, exciting stuff. Babies are here. Tis the season. <laughs> Look at all that. British white under the belly. Hi, babe. <laughs> Look at them grown you hairs. Good mama, Blue. And she's not naughty. You're cute. So, yeah. Four babies. Yeehaw. I got bottles. We're going to feed goats. Do the rest of chores. So there's only 14 heifers left to go, which is exciting stuff. And it's not even due date, but you know, it is what it is. So they're good moms. We haven't had to like crank any out. Mom and dad helped one last night, but she laid in the wrong spot and like couldn't get up and it was jammed in there. So they just pulled the calf and then she got up without hurting him. So not bad, <clears throat> but they're giving me crap because I was gone. So there's that. <laughs> I don't know yet. I do believe I thought you were a heifer. Heifer, and I don't know what this one is. You're very brown. <laughs> Bull. Sit down. 
chill and he got that little turn over there <laughs> are you next who's next I didn't even get a chance to show you what we looked for before they started cabin but I could do that I guess um, so you just look for utter development so that right there was a really good utter uh, see if I can get somebody to turn around and show you better all right do you see that <laughs> They start bagging, I mean, it can be up to six weeks, but usually it's a couple weeks beforehand. So their udder starts to fill up and then they start to get a little more loosey-goosey in the back end. <laughs> Real great terminology there. Um, but their vulva swells and it bounces and they get kind of springy. That's why they call them springers sometimes at the sail barn, but you can see everything's kind of relaxing. She's like, why are you following me? <laughs> um, I think cows obviously are more a loser, but heifers like go from absolutely zero elasticity in there um, to a bunch. So she doesn't have much of a bag or anything going on. She does. So you can see here, um, this baldy here, there is really not much of an udder or a bag going on. And she is not, I'm not gonna give me a tail. Um, she's not loosey goosey and elastic in the back end. Whereas she is, so she's like ready to shove a baby out easy peasy so that's a cow a really fat cow <laughs> but you can see they're more loosey-goosey the older they get a little bit of a bag there she got really long hair so it's hard to tell a little bit of a bag and all of them kind of bag differently so it's not an exact science but there's definitely like you can see here there is like no other um and she's not Lucy goosey swollen back there so just showing you cow parts it's all right <laughs> and then obviously uh, they'll start swishing their tail kicking at their belly acting funny getting really vocal at times there's lots of different symptoms and they'll start pushing water bag etc so we have lots of time we'll be calving for a solid two months for sure so um somewhere in there maybe faster i don't know two months probably pretty rough so i will try to show you what the actual like part tuition which is the process of having birth looks like um, of giving birth so I'll see if I can catch cows in the entire act and show you the entire process potentially um, we'll see what happens but heifers are funny so we still have the end of the month is when some of these cows could start going and then really like the rest of them are March 10th eighth-ish somewhere in there so it'll be exciting but it's my spicy lady from last year that's my old cow, Moonlight's granddaughter, and she was the one that tried to eat me last year. So, you better be nice, because you're eating on my hand now. But, oh, and yeah, I got my hair colored, if you didn't notice. It's dark now. <laughs> but, they're doing well. They're doing well. I just got to make sure this little tyke stays back here and doesn't get herself shoved in the bunk, because apparently she got shoved into the bunk, and Mom thought she lost her. And she was like all the way down the bunk, just walking. So, good time. And this is where heifers forget about the babies, because they're hungry. You stay there. That's the one that's gonna be a little bit spicy. And that's the old lady that's got a sore leg. You're fine, go eat. <laughs> Baby wants out. We'll leave it a minute until they eat. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out of this! <laughs> Dad's gonna go bed, barn, bed everybody. Uh, we actually kind of are freezing at night now, which is really nice. 
Uh, and then uh, fun a little bit during the day. Here's the spicy lady herself, 103 and I don't see eye to eye. So at some point when she calves, you'll see that. But uh, I gotta bet everybody haul some manure. There's a chance of snow coming this week. Not a lot, just a little bit. So then we'll probably have to haul manure and such when we got a couple days that we stay frozen. And then we're warming back up again this weekend and next week the way it looks. But bed the barn, keep that bed pack nice for those calves. It is nice that it stays a little frozen in there because then that bed pack stays even drier because it's, you know, partially frozen on top. So, but we'll see. I'm going to go eat some breakfast, work out, catch up on life after being gone for a couple days, and watch cameras, see if we have more babies coming. So, we'll see if we end up with five, six, seven. All right, I just finished my workout. And there's a new calf. I just opened the camera and I can see a... Uh, baby trying to run around and a mom's bellering and moving a bunch so I'm gonna go make sure she'll stand. I'm guessing she's just kind of like what the heck's going on but we'll probably go pet them off just so they can bond together for a little bit to get used to each other. Um, make sure that he nurses off of her the correct mom. So this first cat heifers and they're kind of just dummies and <laughs> they're good. They have the instinct they just also can be kind of little dum-dums so you know that's where we're at but Okay, he might be the cutest thing you'll ever see in your life. Just wait till you see his little nose. Oh my goodness, you have a white nose! Ugh, okay, I'm gonna get him moved over here into a pen. Hi, Toads, I know. <laughs> Tell you where they're right in here. What are we doing? We're repairing the spreader. Yeah. Putting this in that's been out since May. Yeah, May, June, something like that. Nice. <laughs> we made it do. Nice. It works. He said we need to show more of fixing of things. Yeah, we do do our own shit around here. Well, that's your department, so you can make the videos then. I just hate fixing stuff. So yeah, well. Yeah, that's where we're at. Are we going up and over or are we coming in? Yeah, I'll probably bring it in here. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Got it. Oh, so the bolts just like came out of this or what? Oh, it sits on top of it. Did you hit this or how did this come off? The bolts came loose in the road. Get the hole winding up. I feel like he hit it, to be honest. This is a ticking. Oh man, here we go. I guess she had a false sole that already gave up there. Goodness gracious. She looks like she's got horse hooves that need to be trained. I know. <laughs> we are. some help. Yep. 
That's gonna stick out. <laughs> Antibiotics. <laughs> uh, not flavorful. I recorded that in case you got Western and it wasn't that exciting. <laughs> Where am I going to get? Mm. Oh, we're bleeding. Yeah, I was cleaning her hoof and... You got her. Did you find something? I don't know that yet. I can smell it. Ah. Well, that's why she's walking better because it had pretty much open. Yeah. I know. So this one did indeed have a newer abscess. Are you ready? Nope. <laughs> it's way harder than anything. See you later. <laughs> She's like, she got antibiotics, injectable, and in her toe, foot wrapped, and a little thing for her to walk off the pressure on the opposite toe. Is the sun so nice? Wow. <laughs> All right, I am back again. Just going back and forth this is going to be the story of my life trying to be an entrepreneur and <laughs> having season chaos. Um, but we are uh, back for chores now, evening chores, and I don't think there's any more calves. So we got our two sore feet taken care of. Um, so that was good. And both of them were abscesses. The heifer I thought had like a fracture, so I thought it was going to be way worse than it was. So that was good news. And then the cow um also like manageable should be all right type of deal nasty infection but they both their bodies were naturally healing themselves so we just gave them that extra help with antibiotics now and opening it up and adding that hoof block to the older cow to get that weight off of the sore toe that way like if you have a sore big toe you walk on the outside but yeah happy kids full thing of hay how about it? Lucy's back outside, and Lola's back outside. Checking everybody. Don't see anything currently. Hi, girls. How cute are you? Oh my goodness. Those markings are so cute. Big stretch. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. It's frozen enough to be ice right there, so that's fun. Um, nothing going on right now. Bunch of bags and such. Everyone's playing and nursing. That little one is cute. I think she's got the cutest calf award right now. I thought the baldy was cute, but this one might be cuter. Both girls, so also exciting, but nothing much going on. We're gonna close the curtain just because the breeze can be a little chilly with babies at night. Um, and then we're opening it in the morning. One of the days that are nice, so just an easy switch. And she shut, so now they still have airflow, but it's not if that breeze comes up and it gets chilly and there's a fresh calf. They won't be in the direct, you know, cold breeze if it happens to be. But we'll see. Maybe we'll have another one tonight. Maybe we don't. But 
happy day one calving vlog, I guess. <laughs> we started earlier than I thought. Uh, we'll talk about all the things, our protocol, all of that. So if there's anything specific that you want to see or you have questions of at this point, just know that we'll have a uh, good two months of this most likely. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Always make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.